Welcome back to the channel everyone. We got another Ascended Challenge for you today. And this is the fourth Ascended Challenge in a six week cycle. This is the Keep of the Honed Edges. In this Ascended Challenge there is two more Corrupted Eggs for you to find. And also a set of Ahamkara Bones. Now if you start off where Petra's at, you want to head towards the Harbinger Seclude. You, to get into this Ascendant Challenge, you will need a Tincture of Queen's Portal to get the portal to show. And if you are going after those Corrupted Eggs, you will need the Wish Ender Bow in order to get them. Now the Wish Ender Bow does come from the dungeon, which will be active this week. So if you haven't got that yet, I suggest you get in there, get that Shattered Throne done, and get that bow so you can get these Corrupted Eggs all knocked down. And before we get started guys, if this video helps you out, make sure you give it a like, go ahead and share it, and newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this. And as I said before in some of my previous videos guys, if I can get this channel up to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing some giveaways. So go ahead and help me out there and hit that subscribe button. Now once you get here, there are some ads. Uh, you don't necessarily have to take them out, I do. This is where I pop my tincture of Queen's Foil, and also there's a little jumping puzzle after you pop it, so making taking the ads out just makes it a little bit easier. As you can see, the portal's up there. You move up a little bit and off to the right, you'll see the puzzle form. Now, to mention that there are a couple of different spots that you spawn in when you jump through the portal. And you want to look for the one with the crystal behind you. Like when you spawn in and you turn around, there will be a giant crystal. That's where you can find your first corrupted egg. Now you can either jump in and if you want, you can run to the other side. Or you can just wipe and jump back in. And hopefully you get to the spawn where the crystal's at. As you can see guys, this is the crystal you're looking for. And there's a little jumping puzzle where more platforms form to take you to the first corrupted egg. Now what you want to do is you want to jump up on the rock to the right a little bit. And then it, you're going to look off to the right side and back a little more. And just take a big jump and the platforms will form as you jump. And I believe there's three platforms you jump to. And the egg will be off to the left on the uh, little cliff. You can see it sitting there in a little hole. And after you get this egg, you can go back to the beginning and go ahead and through the Ascendant Challenge and get the Sword Killer Knights and progress to that. Now starting this Ascendant Challenge off, you're going to go run forward. There's going to be a little orb thingy there you can hit and it's going to show you the path that you need to go. Basically this is a little jumping puzzle. You want to make it into the middle. Now there's plenty of different ways you can take to get there. Just head towards the middle, any which way you can get there. Now once you get into the middle, there's going to be a couple wizards and a bunch of adds to kill. And you have to kill those adds in order to grab the sword in the middle that's surrounded by three knights. Now those three knights are immune until you grab the sword. And the first time you grab the sword, one knight will be moving, and of course as soon as you pick it up, more ads will spawn in. Now, you don't necessarily have to focus on the ads, just try to get the knight. Now, I'm going to say this is probably one of the easier ascent challenges to do, and probably one of the more fun ones. Because, I mean, you get to run a sword, and you get to use a sword. What, what's not fun about that? Now, in order to clear out the ads, you can use your super because you will have the sword to take the knights out you won't need the super just to clear them out as fast as you can okay now that the ads are done you can see the little shield went down and i can grab a sword and as soon as i do one of these knights will start moving now again if you're doing it solo and the ads become to damaging you too much you can run around the outside and use some of these pillars it's kind of a defense now once you're out here, the ads will kind of come to you and the knights will run to you. So you can kind of just hide back here if you need to, hit them as they line up. 
Now once you have all the knights dead, the adds will despawn. You can run in this middle, hit the little orby thingy, and it will take you and show you the way to get out. In order to get the second corrupted egg, you want to go around the outside and find these set of steps. It's a broken set of steps that's leading off to the left. And you look out to the right a little bit, you're going to see a gazebo sitting out there. Now you want to jump out to this gazebo. And then you go left a little bit, you'll see a rock formation out there. You want to jump and sword glide out to that rock. Now once you make it to this rock, it's as easy as just climbing up to the top. Now if you have your higher jump boots on, doesn't matter what character, it makes this a little bit easier. Now once you get to the top, you look over the edge, and that will be where you find your second egg. Now once you get to the second egg, you can jump back up to the top, and you can actually sort of glide back over towards the middle. Just head back towards that gazebo that you jumped from to get here. And from that gazebo, you can jump right to the middle. And then we'll go after the set of Aham Car Bones. Now starting off from the middle again, you want to go back to that broken set of steps leading off to the left. As you can see here, broken steps going to the left. Now if you jump on the little gazebo thing beside them and look down below those steps, you'll see the Aham Car Bones down below there. Now you can just jump over the edge, jump down there to get to them. There will be little platforms that form once you get down there and you can jump on. And then to get it up, all you need to do is follow these platforms. Now once you get to this point here on your left side, Tone was sitting on this little ledge. I already got him, but for you, if you haven't got him, Tone was sitting right here for you. And after you talk to Tolan, you can jump back to the platforms that disappear and continue going around in a circle and making your way back up top. Once up top, you can continue to make your way to the portal where you'll get your chest. Now there are ads that spawn in. Now, you're going to want to take these ads out before you start jumping across because the platforms that you jump on do disappear once you land on them. Now I use the sword to jump over. It makes it a little bit easier. Just you can get there quicker and then sword the ads to kill them. Now these taking phalanx will blast you, if they hit you, they can blast you off the rock. Now having the sword, if they do blast you, you just sword right through it and keep going forward. Once you make it to the end, you can pick up your chest, and then the portal will get out, is above that crystal. And then there you go guys, another descent challenge complete. Hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and subscribe for newcomers to the channel. And make sure you give this video a like if it helped you out.